What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the new craftable set Orders Wrath. A lot of people on PC, you know, they've had access to the High Isles chapter since, of course, the test server. And now that the High Isles chapter has gone live on PC, we're talking about how Orders Wrath is one of the best craftable sets in the game and maybe one of the best craftable sets we've seen in ESO over the last seven or eight years. So the thing that I think makes this really interesting, of course, is you have your two item set, which gives you a 657 crit chance bonus. The three item set adds 129 weapon and spell damage. Of course, the four piece set gives you 657 crit chance and the five piece set gives you 943 crit, ch uh, crit chance, excuse me, and also increases your critical damage and critical healing by 8%. So not only are damage dealers using this, there's some healers that are finding a way to kind of fit this into their uh, healing setups as well, uh, depending on what type of healer they're running. And I'm looking forward to being able to get access to this when the High Isles chapter releases here for me on console, because I'm really curious to see what Zoss does with this going forward. As we all know, Diamond's Victory came out last year and was a very sought after set because it was one of those craftable sets yet again, and it was better than a lot of the stuff you could get in game. A lot of people were using Diamond's Victory in trials instead of, you know, getting, you know, all two sets of trials gear or getting a set of dungeon gear instead of trials gear. From what I understand right now on PC, a lot of people are replacing uh, your Mother Sorrow or maybe even something like Medusa with uh, this new craftable set, Order's Wrath. Some people are pairing Order's Wrath with Medusa or Mother Sorrow, and some people are just pairing it with, you know, Trials gear or other dungeon gear that you can get along the way. Now, I think this is going to be a great set for solo play, but I also think it's going to be a great set for group play if Zoss does not decide to nerf it into the ground. Personally, I wish Zoss would bring back... Uh, Diamond's Victory and set it back to like it was when it first came out. Uh, and then we'd have two really good craftable sets. Because I think it's a good thing. Uh, I think it's good for the game. I think it's good for the community to have these craftable sets. Have other options. Have other ways to get gear besides maybe just doing trials. I know a lot of people don't like to just do trials. Maybe they're not trials players all the time. Maybe they just want some good gear for dungeons or for soloing stuff. And of course you have to go in and play trials if you want to do that. And also, I think if you are a trials player, you should have to have you, you should have the other options besides just getting trials gear, uh, you know, to set up some different things, test out different builds. And I think if we had more craftable options in the game that were very viable, I think that would be really good uh, for just the game in general, just for the health of the game. And I think the Order's Wrath set is so good right now, and people are talking about it so much, and especially when it comes out here on console, even more people are going to be trying it out. Zoss may end up nerfing it in the end, kind of like they did Diamond's Victory. Like I said, I wish they would bring Diamond's Victory back. Then we'd have something like Diamond's Victory, something like Order's Wrath. And there was other good sets years and years ago uh, that were craftable, that were really good. And it's not like it is, I mean, it is, I guess, somewhat easy to get if you are in a guild, you can get someone to, you know, craft it for you, or you can buy it from a guild trader, um, or, you know, you can craft it yourself. So there's still ways to get it, but it still may take some gold or it may take some time for you learning, you know, the crafting in game. But overall, I think if you're looking uh, to maybe try this out, definitely get the weapons, get the gear. Uh, if you actually get, you know, gear and you, maybe you make gear and, and jewelry, I would not recommend making it gold yet. Maybe just go up to purple. Only make your weapons gold. That way, if it gets nerfed within a month's time, you won't have a lot invested into golding everything out. That's usually what I did, do. That's what I did with the Diamonds Victory. I just made the weapons gold, let everything else purple because... I was a, a kind of afraid that it was going to happen, you know, kind of that way. That it was going to get nerfed and it was not going to be as useful as it was. And then eventually it got nerfed so bad it's really not useful at all, as as much anymore, at least, as it was kind of to begin with. Because to begin with, Diamond's Victory was something you could use all the time, pretty much in any situation. And I think that's kind of how Order's Wrath is right now. A lot of people are using it in a lot of different situations in the game, whether it be solo or group play, having really good success. You know, better success than things like Mother Sorrow or... You know, some of the other popular sets in game that may not necessarily be tied to trials, but are still really good sets just overall. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you're on PC, if you tried out Order's Wrath yet. And if you're on console, let me know if you're looking forward to trying it out. And also leave me a comment of how long you think it'll be before it gets nerfed. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll get you next time. Peace.